Welcome everyone to Garden of Lights, Haunted History of Hemingbird's Isle. This is the second time, and this is uh, the first time actually that I think I've done a Halloween visit to the same uh, group place in the same uh, year. But Garden of Lights had a second place, as we can see here, History of Hemingbird Isle. And our first place we visited this year was Once Upon a Spell. So once I saw that they had a second place, I definitely wanted to take a look at it, and it has a very nice the scenery to it, as we see a giant pirate ship off the coast of this island that's being, uh, tentacled. But what's the most interesting thing is actually up this, uh, cliffside here, once we get up here up the stairs. And we do have a nice little lighthouse here. Pretty old-style lighthouse, too. Got a ghost up here. I think that might be part of like some sort of a uh, hunt type thing. And we'll go ahead and just slow up here real quick and take a look at the light. Definitely glowing off in the distance. So we have a interesting sky area as well here. It's not it's dark, but it's actually like a form of thick clouds around the area. There's a tiny bit of light getting through, but not much. We have some neat skeleton candles up here, too. Holding on to some skeleton hands. And yeah, as we take a look around here, this is definitely what I'd call a garden of lights as we get up here. We got some ghosts around. Because this place is definitely just uh, filled with lights. Very nice lights. And it's sort of like a garden as well, which I think is... Uh, I'll draw back to the group name. Some rain going on too, as we see. Interesting pumpkin with stars and a moon, it looks like, crescent moon. There's even like a dance uh, pavilion over here. I can hear a thumping of a heart around as well. But yeah, we have a dance pavilion over here that has two people dancing and a lot of ghosts also dancing. Seems like a fairly friendly, friendly time here with the ghosts, I think. Nothing too crazy going on. Looks like about a half dozen ghosts. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around this uh, garden area a little bit more. Like I was saying before, the skylight skylighting is pretty interesting. See a bit of lightning around, so I guess this is technically a thunderstorm. As with advance on, as usual, we can definitely see just the absolute glow of all the lighting going on around. Plenty of uh, presents, it looks like, here, too. And we've got a hummingbird, I think, uh, right up here with us, too. Yeah, a bunch of presents that say for you on it. Some candies within the pumpkin. And another fountain right here, too. I didn't even realize I was looking at another fountain. And we have some uh, glowing orbs around the garden as well. Another floating candy corn piece as well. We saw those around once upon a spell. They make the return. Now we have a little tiny graveyard going on here too. And some odd ambient sounding stuff going on here too. Curious indeed. Oh, I just saw the gravestone blink at us. I guess I would call that blinking. <laughs> yeah, curious indeed. It looks like there's a rat hanging on that gravestone as well. It's like cloth ghost, though. It's a bit different than the other ones we've seen. Oh, that was a hyper jump there, I'm not sure why the, why that launched me. We got a boo from the pumpkins, nice little view of the manor we're about to head into. The area's not too particularly big, but they definitely did a lot with the area that they had. It's rather nicely detailed out. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and head on in now and uh, take a look around. We have some nice glowy pumpkins here as well. As goes with the season. I mean, nice little uh, table here. I have a little haunted mansion. I think I have this actual like model here of the haunted mansion type thing. Or something similar to that at least. Some candied apples it looks like. Caramel apples at least. Let's go ahead and head on inside. Oh, we got ghosts all around us it seems. Now some of these ghosts kind of look like ones taken from maybe like literature or something like that. So maybe the theming is literary ghosts because I'm not quite sure what the uh I know Once Upon a Spell had a very witchy theme, but I wasn't quite sure on the theme on this one. I think this is one of these changing pictures over here. Oh yeah, it's definitely changing. Face looks almost alien at this point. That's actually pretty unsettling. It's not like a huge change, but what does change is... Fairly unnerving on that one. It looks like we do ha have a kitchen in this house. Well, it looks like the table there is having a fun time on its own. Very curious indeed. I can definitely still hear that heartbeat around somewhere. I don't think we've quite gotten to it yet, though. But I think it's definitely somewhere in the manor. This is actually a pretty nice kitchen, I have to say. Usually kitchens and haunted mansions are like... Fairly forgotten about, but this one's actually fairly nicely de decorated. Got a little assortment tray there, it looks like. Lots of seasonings. And I guess maybe this is the dining room, I'm assuming. More pumpkins. Oh, that actually looks like a picture of somebody's maybe like Second Life avatar. There he is indeed. That one up there, too, I think. We can see the dancing couple outside as well, but this actually looks pretty neat. The uh, animated ghosts that are seemingly having a conversation on this dining table. And yeah, there's a ghostly tea party going on over here as well. Even ghostly plates and cups. I don't think we'll quite uh, enjoy this tea party. I think it's not our type. <laughs> it looks like we're back in the uh, at the front door, and we have a ghostly spirit here as well. And she's heading up the uh, staircase. It looks like, or going through it at least. Very sparkly web. Seen a couple of those around this year. Got a, a hallway of paintings here. A lot of them ghastly, it looks like. Soap and water, five cents. Fairly cheap. Besides the huge crack there, the bathroom actually looks like the cleanest spot in the house, which is kind of terrifying. Oh, it looks like we came in on a ghost that was having a bath. Whoopsie. I'm gonna head on in here. It looks like we have a 
like a library or maybe a study probably more like a study I guess I saw I is 4 but I didn't see what the last word is let me go ahead and uh, text refresh this and see I is for impressionism We got a collection of keys on the wall there. Yeah, it definitely looks like a study. That look doesn't look like it's a uh, field of ghosts or anything like that. Uh, it's all keys surrounded by a lock that's to a heart. I didn't see the heart right away. Yeah, it looks like we're in a either like a weaving room or it's somebody's bedroom I'm, just, I'm assuming the heartbeat is very close now but considering we're like in one of the last two rooms it has to be hello darling oh that's a blood splatter looks like we found where a murder took place because that's definitely uh... Oh, there's a heart on the table. That's where that came from. I guess that's the ghost as well. Yeah, the heart on the table must be where the heartbeat's coming from. That mirror is pretty bad, too. I guess this must be where the latest death occurred. another person. I got, I'm assuming a ghost, perhaps? Or... Yeah, a ghost. Very curious indeed. It looks like we found a kid's room as well here. That's a electrifying painting there. We found a tiny ghost. Leave the tiny ghost alone. And we have a little cat statue in the ground and plenty of dollhouses, it looks like. In fact, I think I see something in that dollhouse over there. Something uh, greenish swirling, it looks like, inside of it. Maybe there's a ghost living in there. Something like that, perhaps. Oh, we found the ghost of the room laying on their bed, and we also have one of these dolls that are watching us every move we take. They are watching. Watching indeed. And I think that about does it for a tour of Haunted History of Hemingbird Isle. Very nicely put together place. I like this guard out here the most. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And we'll have some more Second Life travels here real soon. And I'll just leave you on this beautiful display of the garden out here. So see you next time.